Welcome back. We have John Garland uh, joining us on the show from Surplus Herbies to wrap up our uh, Thursday edition of Midday. It's great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me back. It's great for uh, to have you. We're talking about gold panning today. Yeah. Something I haven't done since that trip to Barkerville that we all take in grade <laughs> four. I can't say I've done it at all. Yeah. So. It's becoming uh, a lot more popular around town. There's a lot of people getting into it. So. Where do people do it around here? Uh, there's lots of places you can do it. Uh, Tronquille Creek's a very popular spot. There's some places out by Jameson that are yeah. really popular. Yeah. Um, and then there's lots of places all around BC that Our you can go and do it. Yeah. Have you heard of anybody actually collecting any big uh, chunks of gold out of there? Oh, for harvest? sure. Yeah. Really? Yeah. There's guys that come into the store that, you know, they won't tell you where because they've got their sure. claims that are, really? you know. But yeah, they How big they have you seen? Like just uh, I haven't, they don't show me, but they just right. tell me. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so we brought a gold pan in today, yeah, or you did. Yeah, uh, I brought so a, tell us how a couple just different sizes. Yeah. Um, we have all different sizes and colors and stuff at the store, but... Mm -hmm. um, these are just a few of the popular ones. We have uh, well, eight inch, 10 inch, 12 inch pans. Then we have all the way up to 14 inch. Okay, so these are just the, the part, like this obviously has to be used to sift through. So you dig with this and then so, you put it in. So uh, if you're just panning, so you would just grab some dirt from the stream and you'd have this in the water and you just kind of shake it and uh, swirl it around and it'll catch the gold in the ridges here. Because oh. the gold is heavier than the dirt in it. Okay. And any of the rocks. So mm -hmm. it'll actually float to the right to the bottom and uh, yeah, as you're like swishing all all the water and the dirt around, yeah, it'll it'll sink and it'll stay in your pan. And then what you use this to? So this here is just another uh, piece. So this you can use on its own, or you can put it on top of a bucket. Um, and we have probably eight different screen sizes at the store. Mm -hmm. So you can use them all together, or you can just use one, and you just kind of like, you know, sift out so the smaller stuff will go through, sure. and then you can dig through that more. Yeah. Um, and then it just gets rid of the bigger pieces that you sure. can just throw aside. And then what's this for? So that's a sluice box. So this is when you get into a little bit more um, advanced. Yeah. <laughs> You're going for the big dogs? Um, so you would run water through it, and it has uh, what's called miner's moss on the inside part here mm -hmm. that will um, the gold will sink down into. Oh. So it, it just kind of traps it for you. And you can just do a larger volume of dirt through that so but how do you use this say i'm sitting at the river's edge what am i doing with this yeah so you would water would be running through this mm -hmm. and you would kind of have it tilted a little bit oh so then so you would just like the water. yeah you would dump your, your dirt into this area yes and then the water will rush it through yeah so instead of you panning it yourself the water's kind of doing it for you oh. so you're running it through and then all the dirt will or the dirt will keep on going and then the gold will is this the lazy down. way to do it or the lazy uh, way it's the efficient way to do it yes, yes. but it also keeps your hands uh, free to drink a beverage perhaps, <laughs> yeah, while you're right. waiting to strike your riches right absolutely awesome you guys also yep. have books as well for people yeah, does so this tell you where to go or what yeah we have uh, a couple different ones here this guy is uh, all about gold panning in british columbia okay so it has a lot of places um that you can go do it Mm -hmm. um, it'll give you directions to um, the history of the areas. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a really good book. Mm -hmm. We sell a lot of those. But where do you hear most people going around these parts? Like you said, like Jameson Creek? Or yeah, like Trunk Hill Creek? Creek's probably the most popular place around here. Yeah. Yeah. And you can get your own claim um, that no one else can go on in a, in a creek. Um, you can get your own claim? Yeah, you can and get your own. And people have to stay away? Yeah, that's right. I mean, they're not, they can't mine on your claim then. Is so. that right? Yep. And there's... Uh, a few different websites that you can go to to find out where people's claims are. So if you're going out, you don't want to be, you know, be all, uh, mining on somebody else's claim. How does that work? It's like almost having a license to that area for a certain amount that's of time? Right. Yeah. Really? And they, they'll expire after a few years. And, uh, really? Yeah, Didn't know just, that existed. Yeah. Awesome. And then what's that one quickly? So we this one here um, <laughs> is just a, a basic how-to manual. So mm. there's a lot of people that, you know, there's a lot of TV shows out there about mining and stuff right now. Sure. Um, so it's getting a lot more popular, but... Um, it's just a basic guide on everything you need to know to get into gold panning. Are so. your chances of finding gold better if you dress like this guy, though? Like yes. You, look you, like the old -time you gold actually buyer? have to dress like that. I yeah. believe you. <laughs> Where do you get that hat, though? I'm telling you. <laughs> Surplus Herbies. <laughs> hey! Good answer. Awesome. So something fun to do with the family. Yeah, certainly. definitely. Uh, and it's the right time of the year, obviously, to uh, yeah, it's getting uh, there now, so. be in the great outdoors. So, John, thank you for this. Uh, Happy Easter to you. Yeah, happy Easter to you guys as yes, well. Yes, gold panning, something the whole family can enjoy. Surplus Herbie's on the North Shore if you want to check it out.